Dublin Jazz Tutorials. So this week's um, tutorial is kind of inspired by the movie Black Swan. I know that movie is kind of old-ish. It's from 2011, I think. Yeah. Or is it 2012? I don't know. One of the two. Either way, um, I happened to come across this photo of Black Swan a poster on Google.com. I thought, perfect way to start a tutorial with Lady Gaga. Um, I found this photo of Lady Gaga, and it works really well with this photo. So I figured I'd show you guys what I created. So um, I went on Google.com and just Googled some random, like, uh, texture. Um, this one here, it's a uh, cracked uh, rock texture. Um, I'll provide this for you in the description below because this texture works extremely well with this particular tutorial. So I will be giving you this in the description. So go ahead and paste your um, lovely texture um, onto your photo. And you can really use any photo you like as long as it has a face and you have space to fit the texture onto the face and not make it look too weird. Um, and I'll kind of go along with that in a second. So immediately upon undoing so, go ahead and change that layer to multiply, and you're then going to go into a control T, and you may need to resize the um, texture to suit your face, um, it, or maybe not, depending on how large your photo is. My photo is not too large, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it, and I'm going to work with it a little bit. I'm going to, and um, we're also going to warp it. So go ahead and use the warp tool on your um, transform. And um, we're going to warp it to her face. I don't want to have it um, too foreshadowing, like too crazy. But I'm going to put it enough where it looks pretty cool. And it's still a bit too big for my canvas, so we're going to resize it a little bit more. Just so it doesn't look too ridiculous. And um, it looks actually pretty cool. But I need to warp it a little bit more. So go back to my warp tool. And just going to move it over to the side a bit. Put that over here, move that up that way, and there we go. Alright, I kind of like that. So, once you have that, now obviously, as you'll see, this whole texture is visible. Um, the way we're going to delete that is by going to Image Adjustments, and you're going to click on Curves. Now, with the curves, you can delete the black, but not the whole like texture. Kind of see what I'm saying? So go ahead and mess around with the curves until you pretty much get rid of the whole background of the texture, but not getting rid of it all together. Now, you don't necessarily have to get rid of it completely. Leave a little bit of the background there because what you can do after this is we're going to erase part of it. So I'm gonna that's fine for now um, because this part here, we can just erase it. So go ahead and get your eraser tool. And I'm using a 100px soft round brush because that's going to work well with this. Because if you use a hard round brush, it's going to not really blend in as well and it might look kind of sloppy. So here we go. Just erase the parts that are showing and looking really ridiculous. And voila, look what you've done. Now you've kind of blended it in there. Um, now if you want to at this point, you're welcome to duplicate the layer. If you want to have it more like, if you really want to have it like outstanding, um, you're welcome to duplicate that to really showcase the um, texture. But I don't think I need to. So you can just leave it as is if you want. Or you can go ahead and duplicate that layer by all means. And you're also welcome to go ahead and duplicate it and add more of the um, scratches slash cracked on the face if you want. Just duplicate that layer and then go ahead and uh, warp, move, transform whatnot to suit the way you want your photo but I'm just gonna leave this one here as is but in my final outcome you'll see that I've added extra stuff to it so we're gonna leave this as is now now next we're gonna be adding a um, an adjustment layer um, we could have gone to um, image adjustments but I want this to be over the whole entire image not just specifically the background layer or layer one so go ahead and add a adjustment layer of brightness and contrast. And I'm doing this because in the actual image for Black Swan, or the trailered image um, poster, which I'll show you too as well so you can compare the both of them, um, it's a little, the face is more kind of like soft, vocal face. But to create a soft, vocal um, face on here, it would look kind of, I don't want to say weird, but I did attempt to make a soft, vocal face, and it didn't look as well as it should so I thought that this looked just as well so go ahead and do this 
and don't brighten it too much um, mostly contrast um, and yeah I like that that looks good and now we're gonna add our text um, um, let's see I'm gonna go over here and start with this and I'm just gonna add a random quote in the corner um, let's see We're going to change this to white because in the actual poster for the movie, they had a little quote in the top of the corner. So I thought, what? That's awesome. So here we go. And um, you could use any font you want for this. I'm just specifically using this font because I think it looks pretty cool. But by all means, go ahead, use your own fonts. I'm not going to be... Oh, crap. I forgot. Um... <laughs> I gotta fix this just a bit. Alright. And I'm gonna put this over here in the corner. Uh, I think I'm gonna resize my font just a bit because it looks a bit too big. So, 10 point looks good. Uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, and then now I'm gonna add the main text, which is basically what they did kind of for the movie slowly. And I like this text to be black because I think that looks good. But if you want to go, I, and the reason why I'm doing black is because I can't use white. Because obviously her whole, like, basically she's white, kind of sort of in this picture. So, um, let's see, what else other font can I use? Let's see. Yeah, I don't like that font. Um, oh, yeah, I like this font. Kind of sort of. Yeah, we'll use this font here. All right, I'm going to place it right there. And then I'm just going to add one more over the top text because I'm cool like that. Um, no. Um, sure, why not? Okay. And then just place it kind of sort of somewhere within within reason um all right that's cool i guess but in my final outcome it looks a little bit different but yeah um so that's basically the tutorial um that's how you kind of create a swan like um image um you're free to play around with it now go as far as you want um maybe you'll find a different way to do it and make it more awesome than i did but just playing around in Photoshop, I created this cool little image, and I thought I'd share it with you guys because I like you guys and you like me, so that's that. So, all right, um, have a fabulous week, and I'll see you again next week with something just as awesome or even more awesome. You never know. I just surprise you. All right, bye.